During the Civil War, Côte d'Ivoire, pushing to invade Niger, supported Biafra against Nigeria. Professor Usman Yusuf, do you have the record? How old were you during the Civil War? Okay. People are just bringing some narratives that will not help this country, I tell you. But let's see what he's trying to say here. In a recent interview with The Sun, Professor Usman Yusuf, the former executive secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, expressed concerns about the potential military intervention in Niger Republic by the Economic Community of West African States. This intervention is in response to the military takeover of Niger's government. Okay, Usman Yusuf said, under the leadership of Nigerian President Asaji Bola Metinubu, ECOWAS, with the support of all member nations except Burkina Faso and Mali, okay, where military takeovers had occurred earlier, had demanded the reinstatement of President Mohamed Bazoum in Niger. They have cautioned that failure to comply with this demand could escalate into conflict to pressure the junta into negotiations. The regional body has imposed various sanctions on Niger. In addition, the African Union has voiced its support for the ECOWAS resolution. Yusuf, however, contends that other nations advocating for aggression with Niger do not have Nigerian's best interests at heart, underscoring the enduring amicable relationship with the neighboring country. Okay, He hacked back to the Civil War era, highlighting instances where Gabon and Côte d'Ivoire, ironically the same Côte d'Ivoire now advocating intervention in Niger, supported Biafra against Nigeria. He also pointed out France's stance, okay, France's stance during that period. France, for which Nigeria had intervened in Niger, yet was pitted against Nigeria during its time of need. Okay. <laughs> so challenging the decision to disconnect power supply to Niger as part of the sanctions package, Yusuf brought attention to a 60-year-old treaty between Nigeria and Niger. This treaty stipulated that Niger should not impede the flow of the... Nigeria should not impede, uh, okay, the flow of Niger River upstream. Okay, Niger should not impede the flow of Niger River or Niger River upstream in exchange for Nigeria supplying electricity to, to Niger. Okay. So Yusuf decried the abrupt severance of this power supply, deeming it an unjust action in the context of sanctions. He criticized the Nigerian president's unilateral termination of the treaty, okay, emphasizing the lack of consultation with the National Assembly. Yusuf maintained that the president did not possess the authority to make this decision and accused him of acting on behalf of ECOWAS. <laughs> Abby. So he just went and cut off power without understanding the treaty that had been signed between Nigeria and Niger for over 60 years now, which stipulates that um, the river Niger that is flowing into Nigeria from Niger, that Niger should not impede it, they should not block it upstream. Okay, and in turn, Nigeria on their own part should also not disturb the flow of electricity from Nigeria back to Niger. Hmm. How did they sign that treaty? Don't you think it's overdue for review? And because the government also don't look inwards, they don't know how to create a tanky for electricity and be able to handle Niger on a separate uh, case. It's quite unfortunate. So that is what more, uh, Professor Yusuf is uh, talking about here, that it is actually regrettable that President Tinubu unilaterally acted by cutting off electricity to Niger without consulting his cabinet, without consulting the legislators, and acting on behalf of ECOWAS just because he is the head of ECOWAS. It doesn't work that way. And he also pointed out that the same Niger that you want to invade, or rather the same uh, Côte d'Ivoire that is advocating for ECOWAS to invade Niger, supported Biafra against Nigeria during the Civil War. Even France um, also supported Nigeria, uh, Biafra against Nigeria during the Civil War. So the same people are the people you want to go and fight for. What a disappointment. Okay. So what 
uh, Professor Yusuf is saying here is that there's no need going to Niger to fight for them because during the civil war, those people were actually against Nigeria. But the truth remains also remains that Niger and Nigerians are brothers and there's no need to go there and fight. So a lot of people have reacted to what Professor Yusuf is saying and let's pick a few of those uh, comments. So I'm say these people in the north prefer Niger to Nigeria. Probably. Nonsense. Why do we still pretend to be one Nigerian when you still talk about genocide, the Cold War of 50 years ago? Nigeria can never be one. Let's go our separate ways for good. It will happen. It will definitely happen. It's just a matter of time. And we will still support again if Biafra is um, what is still in your mind. Hmm. What is wrong about that? Okay. How manage this became a professor? Tomorrow, now then go make um, INEC chairman and he go worse past Professor Yakubu Mahmoud. Eh? But how manage Niger people, eh, full Nigeria, as citizens, even at Oga Professor Emotion, don't push you out of context? Eh? The issue is does what happened in Niger? What military action from here? You come the blah blah here. <laughs> now, wow, you all are acting movies, but I like it. History then used to be my favorite, but it disappeared. So stupid, idiotic talk. Then with support Biafra, okay, and other African countries. What does that mean? In as much as many Nigerians don't support any form of confrontation with Niger, some have clearly shown that Niger's problem worries them more than Nigeria's problem. Charity should begin from whom, not from outside. Exactly. Exactly and exactly. So Professor Yusuf is now uh, trying to create other forms of context around invading Niger and bringing out history, the things that have happened in the past, okay, during the Nigerian Civil War, and now bringing it in relation to the issue in Niger Republic, but Nigerians are saying, well, so even if that happened before, if civil war break out again, some of them said they will still support Biafra. All of these people are caring for Niger more than Nigeria. We've got a lot of problems in this country that deserve our, our attention. We need to do that. As fast as possible, we need, we need to do that. Okay. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment over what Professor Yusufu is saying.